Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, State Farm, and WeatherTech. From this 1953 Corvette cutaway to the minty fresh revived Stingrays of today, the 35th anniversary of this four-day show includes burnout competitions, part installs, and special guests like Reeves Calloway. Around 60,000 fans from around the world gather here at Carlisle, Pennsylvania. There's over 5,000 Corvettes with every year and model being represented. <laughs> People come from all over the world. They come from Australia, they come from New Zealand, they come from Europe, and then they come locally from the mid-Atlantic and, and points west of the Mississippi, and they all want to come to celebrate America's sports car. Although one million vets have been made, the holy grail has not been lost. In 1967, GM wanted to build a pure drag and road racing car to compete against Porsche and Ferrari. They came up with this, the L88. 20 were made that year, 16 are known to still exist, and 8 are right here. And I found a common theme around the Carlisle Fairgrounds. No one would even consider selling me their car. Now, as long as I got my health, uh, it's going to stay with me for a long, long time because I'm just blessed to have a piece of history like this. With these few worth around $30 million collectively, even if I had the dough, I can understand why. Rags down. Rags down means stop cleaning your car or you will be disqualified. We're walking around the best of the best. Looking for fit and finish. Fit, finish, dirt, dust. Judge for cleanliness. Tasked with determining the winner of each class. Preserved originals, full restorations, and this modified car. Again, we're not allowed to touch the car. We're not allowed to touch the ground or kneel. We can only, so we can only see what we can see from leaning over. Glass looks good. No cracks, no scratches. This owner bought her coupe brand new, then regrettably sold it. My son found it in a local newspaper, and he said, call this number. So I called the number, bought it back. So I paid sales tax on it twice. <laughs> <laughs> so governor loves me. All right, so we have a 2016 Stingray here. What are we going to be looking at, and what class is this in? This class is uh, Wash and Show H. Uh, what we're we're going to be looking for uh, on the outside here is basic cleanliness. I brought two today. I have a total of six Corvettes, three older ones, and three uh, newer body style. A little bit of water spotting here. Other than that, it looks uh, looks pretty good. I've got to say, you have a really good eye for this <laughs> stuff because I'm not even seeing half of this. It's oh, just yeah. so easy to overlook it because I just feel like you're so used to seeing it in, yeah. in daily cars. Oh yeah, yeah. You you get a you get a sense of where to look and what to look for once you've done this a couple of times. So uh, it comes second nature anymore. We did have a little bit of dirt we, over there. We, we did have a little bit. Of, see, you're getting into it. You, you really. It doesn't take long. In many of these classes, parts shouldn't be missing or damaged, and pieces that were originally, let's say, painted, shouldn't be chrome. Uh, half a point, because that's the half minimum a, we can take off. Right. Half a point for half. a little dirt there and a gas, yeah. gas cap yeah. area. That, that's it. Of it. Very clean car. Yeah. Yeah. My biggest takeaway from the judges, make sure your parts are right, and especially with so many similar cars like Corvettes at Carlisle, pay attention to the smallest details, and you too may just drive home a winner.